Hello, Daniel here. This is my diary entry for the 30th of November 2023. Normally I do them the first day of the month, but sometimes I do them the last day of the month as well. Just around the um, turnover of the month, sometimes I do it. So that essentially was November, which just came and went. Now, throughout November, I've been here at the, um, for most part of the, the caravan here in, um, in uh, the caravan park, in Kuma Caravan Park, up on Sharp Street, 286 Sharp Street, Unit 26 of 286 Sharp Street. And uh, there's a caravan I'm in here, you know, sort of stuff, and this is a caravan. And um, I've, uh, I mean, I've been paying $320 per week rent and uh, just pay down the, the office just down down the front of the caravan park, near the front of Sharp Street. And I do my shopping by walking down the street a little bit. I just walk down the road down to the Royal Hotel in next to Lambie Street, and across the road from that, there's a uh, Nimitabel Butchery, and at, at the side of the Nimitabel Butchery is a little telephone box, which is free to use in Australia these days, telephones, and from there, I call a taxi. Taxis start in Cooma at 6.30 in the morning. I uh, go down early and get a taxi and a taxi up to Coles. And uh, Coles, the, the the mall opens at 6.50 and Coles itself opens at 7, 10 minutes later. So I hang around for a little bit and I go and I do my shopping when I taxi at home. And um, shortly, I go off and pay my rent for the week and I... Um, Possibly after this a little bit, I'll go off and pay my rent. So that's how I pay my rent. Now, I've, I've carried on doing my, for November, I've carried on doing my um, videos and my words. I've got my quotas done. I've got my, my 40 videos done and uh, my 5,000 words are pretty much all done. And I've um, got my quota done for November as well. Um, I was, uh, I've been a little bit scratchy on the, the budget, a little bit down on smokes and food at times, but I was more careful today. Couldn't afford as much tobacco today, which was a bit disappointing, but it's just the way it goes. Got to pay quite a bit of rent out of my money at the moment. It's just the way it goes. The house is nearly, Bridget and Jacinta did a bit more cleaning on the weekend. It's nearly ready to go. It's still not finished. There's still a bit more to go, but they did some on the weekend. Got about, got quite a bit of stuff done, some things done. And shortly it'll be sold. We're still waiting, but it's just the way it goes. So I was, uh, I had, to, I was sick a bit in this month. Um, I was really quite sick one day, and I felt really, really horrible. You know, it was a horrible sickness. I get, I get that. I feel sick occasionally from time to time. I have a moment my my legs are aching a little bit, although they're in fine shape really, but they're aching a little bit. And um, yeah. I had my birthday, of course, on the 20th of November. I turned 51. Bridget gave me a card. I reminded her it was my birthday and she gave me a card. So I got a card this year as well. I wasn't sure if I'd get a card this year, but I did get a birthday card this year. So I'm very grateful. I, I keep my cards now and I'm grateful to have a new birthday card. It can go into my collection. Mum normally provided the card, but I've got one from Biddy. So that's, that's good news. You know, nice to see that I still, can still get a card. Jacinta wished me a happy birthday as well, and so that was nice. I went with Jacinta the other day down to the um, post office. She came and collected me and talked to the post office to collect some mail from um, the post office, which was um, one, one of those postcards that they send you in the mail to collect a parcel post at the post office. So it was just a, a comic, I think, and uh, that was about it. But normally I'll be going down shortly paying my rent and there should be some mail just at the office there for me. Usually they deliver the mail here to the caravan park and um, I'll grab probably some mail down. There will likely be one or two items of mail for me to collect, which should be good, probably comics and some coins. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, I was a bit sick. I haven't really had any visitors apart from Jacinta and Bridget. Jacinta and Bridget came. I think the day after my birthday, they also came around and helped clean up a little bit and uh, were here for a little while, but I haven't had any of Robert hasn't come and visited me yet. Rob Preston hasn't come and visited me at the caravan park. He did at North Street a couple of times, but not at the caravan park yet. So um, I might make that address a little bit easier to get the Kuma Caravan Park Unit 26 of 26 Sharp Street, if anyone watches this. So... Um, so 263 in New South Wales, Australia. So that's, that's where I'm at. You know, I'm not impossible to find. 
But um, it still was quite enough month. I didn't really go anywhere apart from the Caravan Park. I haven't really been anywhere. Just been stuck in here listening, to, mainly on the internet all day long, doing my thing and doing my work. And um, there's a TV just... Just up there, but it doesn't work properly. It doesn't receive good imagery. Um, you don't get that sometimes in places in Kuma. The one in North Street didn't work terribly well. It turns on, but it doesn't work terribly well. So I don't really bother with the TV. Uh, um, uh, food is, like I said, been a little bit slack, but I've been getting by well enough. Hungry at times, but to this morning I made sure I spent enough on food to get me through the week. So I should be okay this time. Uh, going going online, doing a lot of YouTube videos as normal. Same old, same old for the most part for, for Danny Daly at the moment. Just these are still the continuation of the in between days. And just, you know, I'm looking forward to getting my own place soon. So I won't have to pay such dastardly rent and I can afford a lot more money to buy things. I've still bought a few things on eBay, uh, comics and things. Not terribly much at the moment because I've got to cart it off with me soon enough, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But yeah, uh, yeah. Now, the stories where I'm up to, Sword of Andorra is sort of on a temporary pause at the moment. Um, I might be writing that soon, and um, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm, I, I've been locked out of my main no hide account at the moment because uh, password problems, and just um, I need a two-step verification just to get access to it. I don't have the phone number anymore. It's, the phone number was cancelled that we had. I'm not sure how I'm going to access the, the account again. It's looking quite tricky. I might be able to access it by logging in to the system at McDonald's in Kuma because it, it might give me access there, but not because it's a Wi-Fi I've used before. So it could be a bit of a problem. So I've had to use the other account, Daniel Daily Know How Videos Bible, where I'm currently uploading my new videos. And if I can't really access that account, I'll have to wait. And I'll have to probably write to Google or something to try and formally get enough provide enough details to get access to the account or something like that, because they're very challenging to be able to contact online. They don't like it very much if you're trying to contact them online, unless you're actual an actual customer who has a monetized account, in which case you can actually email them a bit. So um, this is it. Uh, quiet enough life. I'm living on my own completely, and uh, don't, not, not many people to talk to. There's, there's other people around in the caravan park. You know, I mean, you get noise uh caravans coming in and in and out all day long driving around driving past and uh up in the hills behind me it's quite idyllic up there and it's it's sort of like the high high part of kuma somewhat still and it's it's a nice place to live i mean i do like living here it's pleasant and it's quiet and it's peaceful it's quite idyllic really and it's um a bit expensive but that's the cost of things these days isn't it but it's it's an enjoyable enough life and i've been happy enough for the month of november uh, it's moody, sort of grouchy towards God and things like that, and um, suffering and pain and grief a bit. But it's still, I'm still happy enough with life. Life's okay. I'm not quitting. Um, no romances, of course. There's been a few funny things online with tagged ladies, but they're just webcam sluts who invade your tagged account. If you go into tagged and play tagged, and you're a bloke especially, expect the webcam sluts to crack onto you and su suggest all sorts of things, but they're just looking to, to get you to pay to use their webcam so they can do naughty stuff for you. That's all that, that, that is about. Sometimes there's genuine ladies on the tag to sort of talk to you, but most of the time it's just webcam sluts. It's just the way it is. That's what I call them anyway. But um, quiet life in November, nothing major happened. I'm not really sure who won the Melbourne Cup. I don't think I even really noticed that. I can't remember. But um, I'm not going to be here. To, well, I booked out the uh, the rental for the place for a couple of months. A few, about three months, I think I've got it booked out in advance. So uh, I could be here. I'll be here for a while yet. But um, soon enough, I'm hoping to move on and have done with it all. So that was November. That's life. It's uh, It's rolling on. Much the same it has done for years now. Uh, this diary entry video will go into the, the account that I'm currently on. I'll just carry on doing them there. And that's mostly about it. Um, I miss mum. Still miss her a bit. But just interim bridge are proving good enough family still. So life's carrying on still mostly regularly the way it normally does. And um, yeah, 
it's still it's still a good life. So I'm happy enough. Jeez. <laughs>